Hello YouTube. Just want to do a quick video. Um, I was updating my website and I'm always updating it, piddling around with it, trying to improve and it's just the way I am on everything I do is always looking for a better way to do things and improvement and my craft and everything that I do. But anyway, you should, if you haven't seen my website in a while, you should really go to wcknives.com if I can get my finger to work right there. And just take a look at the home page and everything that's on there because there's a lot of information on there and more coming because I have a lot of ideas. But the purpose of this video is to explain um, maybe my philosophy a little bit better. Um, because as I was writing the, the welcome page or the welcome part of the, the home page, um, I probably alluded to my thought process on design and, and how I approach uh, the design of, of my knives in, in various videos, but I, I don't know that I really explained um, my philosophy that well. Um, in a nutshell, I, throughout my experience of using a knife since I was yay high, um, I've learned that I use the knife, the different parts of the blade, different or for a different task than, um, and, and so with that thought process, as we all know, there's, I mean, there is no perfect one knife, um, but in my mind, I was thinking, why not for any given task or purpose that I wanted to, to buy that knife for, why is the whole blade the same? <laughs> I mean, you know, you have some that's straight and has a belly on it, but I mean, why not create different angles, different bevels, different thicknesses of steel, different apexes in different portions of the blade to enhance that blade in those different tasks. That's how I approached it, or I do approach it. And that's the reason you see, and I'll show you this prototype as an example, that's why you see different portions of the blade is ground or has different grinds but I kept the cutting edge the same angle all the way through because if it's hard to sharpen, then what good is it? I don't want it. I'm, and I'm sure uh, you guys don't want it either. So, so I kept the ease of sharpening throughout all of my designs. I mean, it, it may look a little different. It may, may appear to have a different angle, but it's not. It's the same angle. You sharpen it just like you do any other knife with curves. It's, it's just very simple to sharpen, okay? But I found that in this portion of the blade, given a certain task, I use it different for different tasks. And then this portion of the blade, I use it for different tasks. The spine I use for different tasks. So in other words, this knife is designed to be a kitchen prep, game prep, camp, firecraft, type tool so everybody knows that a Scandi is king when it comes to wood carving and processing and things like that it'll hog some wood off so why not put a Scandi there okay I love a sweep a hook down sweep so I like that sweet spot so I put that there okay now this portion here I mean when you're processing game you need a little bit of a sweep and a belly and and you also, when you're, you're trying to um, use a straight edge here, when you're trying to chop those veggies, you want that blade to be chopping, but your hand out of the way. So you have a little upward sweep, okay? So, and you want a thin blade. So I put a very high um, blended saber there so that, that you have a thin blade that's less dragged, that slices very well. Here you have a Scandi, which again is a wedge, so it splits kindling very well. Okay, so again, a reason to have two different grinds. You can do your batoning on this portion of the blade. I mean, again, you're not going to want to split a four-inch log. I mean, this is a small knife. I mean, you got to use a little common sense. Four-inch blade, 
If I want to split a little wood, about an inch and a half, two inch piece of wood would be fine to get to some dry part of that wood. I mean, just typical, actual, real world use, not YouTube wannabes, okay? Actual, real world use. So you have that portion there that's thick. It's a 5 30 seconds blade that's thick that's going to spread that material apart and split it very easily. But then again, you have a thin part up here that processes and slices and does all of your, your fine detail work, even in wood carving. You don't choke up on the blade, wood carving, okay? So that uh, this knife has a multifunctional flare to it. The same with the Master Woodsman, the same with the uh, Center Scout, the same with the, uh, the, the SK, the WCSK. I mean, all of these knives has different portions of the blade to lend itself to different tasks, better, easier, faster, more comfort, more control. That's what these knives are about or my designs are about. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. It's still a knife, but this knife has different edges, different profiles to enhance your ability to use a knife, more comfort and easier to use, okay? And it, it's, it's a multifunctional Swiss Army knife in one blade. All right? That's a good way to look at it. Okay. And with this one, again, I mean, you're looking at a game prep knife. So you have the, the, the world-famous Nesbuk spine there for those game processing, skinning tasks, and things like that, and, uh, and uh, all your field uh, butchering. So, I mean... Every part of the blade has a purpose, and I wanted to explain that a little bit better, maybe, than I have in the past. Um, a lot of people are new to the channel, and they don't uh, really understand the knife or, or my my thought process, and sometimes I don't either. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to explain what, what my um, approach to knife design is about, and of course the handle. I mean, I, if the handle is not comfortable, then, I mean, what good is it? You're not going to use it. Okay, let's be honest. So I have different curves and, and different, so that you can have different grips, comfortable grips. Because, let's face it, I mean, if you use a knife long enough, you're going to be all over this thing. All right? Um, especially if you watch somebody that's been using a knife, say your grandfather or, or your dad or uh people that's been using a knife for a long, long, long time, they don't just hold the knife like this. I mean, they're, they're just all over the knife for different tasks, especially when you get up here on those detail work, you're trying to up, go up that belly and that uh, those cavities and, and protect the gut sacs and all this other stuff. don't want to be morbid, but that's part of woodsman's, okay? Part of um, the outdoorsman's uh, lifestyle. But... If you have contours and curves in the handle, you have a secure knife. A secure knife is a safe knife. You have a knife that you can control. And again, control is a safe knife. So that's the reason I design or what the thought process is behind my designs is to have a safe knife, a comfortable knife, a multi-use or a multi-task knife that does more tasks than what Say a fillet knife would do, a skinning knife would do. This is a skinning knife from here up, from here down. It's a wood processing firecraft knife, okay? Same thing with all of my knives. If you think about it in multi-use um, approach, then you'll see the reason and the thought behind the knife blades and the designs that I'll do, okay? So I hope that... Uh, explains it a little bit <laughs> sometimes i get out in the left field a little bit and uh, my my ambassador team has to say whoa now the knife police are coming so you need to <laughs> you need to bring it back a little bit but uh anyway that's the approach that i take with knife design and um why i my knives look different than other knives i mean there is nothing new under the sun uh, i did not invent the multi-grind uh, the first person that I know of that, that did the multigram was Bob Lovis. I mean, anything that you want to know about the knife world, you can pretty much trace it back to Bob Lovis, a genius. That was a genius. 
Um, I think he did one in back in the seventies or something like that. Um, I think it was a saber into a flat or something to that effect. But anyway, um, Mora has uh, some multi grinds. Uh, the Eldris is a multi grind. Uh, there's one other katana or something like that. I think it's the 2000 series or something. That's a say a Scandi into a full flat. So, I mean, I am not the first person to ever think about this. I mean, um, it's been done before. Uh, so, uh, it's just that maybe I'm combining a few more curves to it and flat areas and things that, that hasn't been done before. I'm just taking it, stretching the envelope just a little bit more. Um, the um, so that's my approach. I hope this uh, explains it a little bit better, and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy your, your holiday season and uh, be safe. You guys get in the backyard, whittle on a stick, take a child with you. Be sure to spend time with your family this uh, this season, and uh, we'll catch you guys again as soon as I can. And uh, be sure to take plenty of bad days and lots of moms. Have a good one.